Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Talk Office Hours Hunting for Silver Linings for this Friday, September 4, 2020. Hosted today by myself, Corey Hart of Startup Grind Grand Rapids here in the Great Lakes region of the U.S., and we have our very special guest. We have Alex from Startup Grind Moscow joining us. Overall, we are brought to you by Startup Grind, the world's largest startup community. We have 600 plus chapters in over 125 countries, and we operate with a mission to educate, inspire, and connect. We do this program because the pandemic has been and will continue to be the great global leveler. And as entrepreneurs, we need to do our very best for our businesses, our teams, and families. And to do so, we need to be informed, we need to be rational and analytical and rigorous in our thinking. We also need to learn to control our biases as they emerge in various circumstances. Now, of course, we do invite everyone to join us live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we track the intersection of facts, biases, and action through our check-ins with uh, and real talk with Startup Brian chapter directors, entrepreneurs, and ecosystem stakeholders from across the world. And now no one has a crystal ball, but if we keep our ears and eyes open and pay attention, we may be able to see around the bend and with some luck, spot the silver linings that are around every cloud. And if you, live, if you miss the live events, then you can always view the recordings at startupgrind.com slash grand dash rapids. Now with that, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest, Alex. Hi, hello. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, good to be here. And thank you for having me. Yeah. And so what we've, we've done about 50 of these things, as I mentioned before we hit record. And uh, one of the best things that co that's coming out of this is an opportunity for our fellow Startup Grind uh, chapter directors to really learn about each other. Uh, what we're doing in our own ecosystems. And then uh, there are a lot of people that are curious about how these ecosystems are changing and responding to the times that we're in. Um, and then George, my colleague that usually joins us, we speak often about how excited we are that while there is a lot of nationalizing, while there are like supply chains are shrinking, um, the globalization of ideas and economies is flourishing. Um, and so we're really excited about that. And uh, before we hit record, you were talking about uh, some of that, uh, some of that um, yourself. So uh, first, I'd like to hear a little bit about your personal background, like what uh, what got what got you into this like entrepreneurial tech business, um, and then and then how you wound up with Startup Grind. Well, it's not a it's not a short story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a not the typical one. Because I've been, i supposed to become a banking um, banker or like guy with uh, guy with ties. <laughs> okay. I call it guys with ties. Uh, <laughs> so I have been um, studying uh, for to be an economist, and I've been majoring in uh, banking and finance and economy stuff because my mom wanted this, and all the stuff's happening around Russia. Your parents is kind of your. Um, your road to your future but when i end with the end up with the with the university i tell the first like my first offer from the job like i never will wear a suit <laughs> sorry but no <laughs> and then you know all, all the conversation was like come on you know like you need to work in the financial sector and you know in a bank and the kind of you need to be uh, the cast costume guy with a with a with a tie. Like, mm -hmm. no. If you need my brains, use it. If you need my look, it's not about me. <laughs> and then I end up at the university. I decided that I like people. I love people. I want somehow to to you know, to help people. And I started my second degree in uh, psychology. Psychology and. Um, do my major, uh, do my master in a, in a uh, psychology and become a psychologist. Mm -hmm. So when I do the my master degree in you in the, as a second uh, one, uh, my friend uh, who was a video maker uh, asked me to join the company who owned. Uh, he just launched a sort of uh, agency uh, who will. Um, do a lot of stuff with with the, with the computer graphic and all VFX and all kind of effects, like with the for television, for movies, for like everything. Um, so it was my first startup, but back like back to the those years, I didn't realize that it was a startup. I was like, okay, it's kind of job. <laughs> so I was co-founder of a little. Uh, a little VFX agency, uh, but back to those days, I was like, oh, I'm just a regular worker. 
Uh-huh. So <laughs> um, then I ended, then I finished my degree, um, and I found the opportunity from 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 the Microsoft. Uh, the guys from Microsoft came to me because I had a, like my a college degree and uh, and uh, business and finance too, and how to you know how to open small business and all the stuff. So they offered me to go to Venezuela, Colombia, or like or uh, Mexico. Like I, I was uh, uh, I was needed to choose one of those. I choose Venezuela, and I moved to Venezuela for a couple of years and worked for Microsoft as a as a kind of mentor and and a consultant for um, graduators uh, who wanted to open their own business or like launch some kind of small projects, uh, I've been there I guess for a couple yeah for a couple years. I was working in Venezuela, then I crossed the border without like you know, Spanish to move to uh, to Colombia. <laughs> uh, spent a couple of years there, spent a couple of months there, like working as well with the, with the students. And then I came back to Moscow um, and decided that okay, I had my uh, I had my appreciate my experience in the in the consulting and social psychologist, and I have my degree in a, in economic, and I have my background with the VFX and you know small uh, uh, design studio. I decided okay, I need to know need I need to know more about design, and I joined the team with a you know with a uh, company who did the uh, design, but for uh, government, like for uh, forces, for militaries, I and mean, a lot of different kind of militaries. So we did the uh, design for Kalashnikov, for example, <laughs> and the MiG and another company, like big, uh, like big military companies. Um, so then I started uh, interest. I I've been wondering what's happening on the global market with the with the uh, format that's uh, existing in Russian in Russian ecosystem, and I found that my friend uh, joined as an organizer. Uh, or, or he was like a, he was hosting um, uh, he was hosting a TEDx events in Moscow. I was like, okay. Uh, I kind of know TEDx. Uh, I know TED, but TEDx is like local chapter as well. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. And I uh, joined the team of TEDx and this how my entrepreneurship and community things started. Because at the event of, at one of the event uh, TEDx, I met a girl who uh, was kind of a designer and she was, uh, she was kind of uh, dreaming about how to uh, start the community, like startup community, tech community, some sort of community, but for IT people here in Moscow. And it just started from the Facebook group. Uh, we just did a Facebook group and like, okay, we're done. This is community. Is somewhere, some, some, something should happen. And it happened. Uh, people started to add into community, and we've been talking with the communities, and we started a lot of different, uh, different um, type of events. Like uh, we did the Telegram channels, we did something like kind of big event, a local one, fishing party, and more and more entrepreneurs just joined us in this journey. Um, and then I met, um, I met a company which called Skillers. Uh, sort of a uh, monster or maybe lever as in America, but in Russia is uh, uh, bought by uh, Headhunter. It's huge, uh, huge recruitment system here, kind of, kind of similar to monster. So because I've been like, I've been working as a psychologist and I thought, okay, I know about the char and I want to work in the HR, but I want it in the IT sector, in the tech mm-hmm. sector. And then I realized that we have a HR tech and then I joined to HR tech project, it was a small startup, which right now is kind of big, uh, like the biggest uh, HR tech project in Russia. So, and I'm here. So then we have been working with uh, small startups, like with IoT startup as a CMO and a CPO, a chief product officer and um, chief, on- uh, chief marketing officer. Um, and uh, it was IoT, it was HR tech, it was bot related, music tech related. And uh, then I started like mentoring for the CGD, is GDG or CGD, uh, Google development, uh, mm-hmm. something. Uh, it was like program for, for startups too. And I started mentoring, I started consulting and the community was become bigger, bigger and bigger. Now it's like 20 plus K members there. 
uh, and now I know almost like all market, like the the the, the market on in Russia, like you know, in a in a sure. huge huge. Stuff. So yeah, and that's why I I actually was thinking um, I was thinking. Uh, why should I join Startup Grind? Because my friend Kate Yerina from uh, Startup Grind St. Petersburg, she was she actually uh, become a chapter director, as she told me, because I posted if, like local events in Moscow when the chapter director in Moscow was another guy, and she saw the she had the this uh, Startup Grind things in one of, on a, on one of my channels, and she mm -hmm. like decided, okay, I'm gonna join. So she joined Startup Grind because of the post that I did, and then she told me, okay, we have Startup Russia as a community, as a big community. So it's kind of the same values that Startup Grind have you have. So you need to be part of Startup Grind. And I've been, yeah. I've been you know, I've been uh, thinking about it because when you uh, decide to do, but when you, you know, uh, deciding to do something, you need to convince, convince yourself why you're doing this. I mean, like, what do you get from, from there and what can you give? Mm -hmm. Because it's always about, you know, uh, this uh, inner conversation with, with yourself. And then you just realize that we have the same values and we have the same uh, aims and to, to, um, to move the uh, tech community further and to, uh, to build the better and the better products. So all those two things just, you know, just connected. And I was like, okay, now I know, now I get it. Now it works perfect for me. So I'm here. That's awesome. So timing and opportunity uh, uh, meet in the middle. That's really great. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, we had the opportunity to have Kate on this uh, program. So it was really great uh, getting to hear from her, her experiences, and then especially what she wants for the future of, uh, of her community. So uh, yeah, it was a really impressive uh, talk that we had with her. Um, <clears throat> so how long have you been uh, doing the startup grind thing there in Moscow? You um, yourself. I mean, I'm doing I'm doing the a lot of uh, activities in the community, like in general community that I have at Startup Russia. Uh, but when I joined Startup Grind, I guess we started doing community doing the uh, events for like uh, from from August. Okay. We hosted the pitch battle and we hosted some of the uh, virtual events too. So it's kind of um, pro promo co co promotion things. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it was kind of interesting because, um, uh, we did actually it in a three days. I mean, uh, we realized that we have a time only uh, three days to select all the project and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, find the investors like, gosh, we have only three days. So we need to do something. And I just found, uh, four investors and, um, uh, for one uh, investor from India, uh, who was, uh, who decided to join us too, uh, one of the, uh, in uh, top seven inv angel investors on the TechCrunch uh, rating. And it was kind of interesting, you know, uh, it's kind of interesting when you work uh, with the community that bigger than yours, because, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's always uh, interesting how to connect it and how to, you know, to um, cover, cover all the stuff, all the, all the sites. Like when you trying to take your two communities, put it in the middle, and work somewhere in the middle. So uh, it was pretty interesting, um, a pretty interesting uh, opportunity to, to do this kind of event. Well, I think uh, it's, we uh, did it. it's been really great uh, for me to, to see what's happening around the globe for, for your example, uh, how, how, how willing people are to say yes and be helpful. And yeah. Even if you think that, oh man, this person is all the way up here and like, why would they even bother to say yes? Um, yeah. Especially now more than ever, uh, there's a, a deep willingness to collaborate and to learn more. I mean, actually it depends on, it depends on the people because sometimes you know, founders, investors, they kind of are close to, to people. I mean, they, they are not interested in participating, but we have a quote here uh, and it says like when the guy want money, when you're asking him to to judge or maybe to uh, participate as a mentor, as like as consultant, whoever, uh, he's not actually uh, not actually good 
professional because when you have uh, your own experience, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if you are a co-founder, founder, like anyone, and you have this uh, huge pack of experience, you always wanted to share it and you will share it because you can't just keep it in sight. Even me, when I started doing, you know, all the stuff about the IT, um, I kind of uh, get a lot of, um, get it a lot of um, ideas and, and uh, feedback and all the things that I broke and uh, that I made good. <laughs> and but I broke. then I was like, yeah. uh, well, I have a lot of experience. I need to share it, definitely, without anything. I just want to give because when you get a get when you get a lot, you always wanted to give back. So yeah, so this quote is about like give uh, and don't ask for money. <laughs> we have mm -hmm. in, in, yeah, in, we have here. So when when somebody asking for money, it's always not a uh, not a too good uh, not a good. Uh, uh, expert to talk with. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's nothing more valuable than, uh, than experience and, and the, the opportunity to learn from others is, is really great. Uh, which is why I've, I've really enjoyed uh, startup grind as a community uh, of, of folks. <clears throat> um, so, uh, sounds like you're the perfect representative for startup grind in the community there. <laughs> um, I know that, uh, it, it's, uh, Derek, our CEO that says, Hey, yeah, you know, we're, we're kind of like the mayors of our, of our ecosystem. Like people eventually they look to us to say, Hey, you know, I, I need help. I'm, I might have even, I might even know what kind of help I need. Um, yeah. but, uh, it's because of the, the, the mindset of the organization that it's like, okay, well, how can I help you? And who can I introduce you to? So we don't hold those things yeah. so tightly, right? Um, now, uh, having uh, like studied and grown up in Moscow and then leaving for a few years and coming back with that experience, that's got to have just tremendous value. And then also uh, like uh, Moscow, uh, you're, you're, are you still a top 10 like uh, ecosystem in the, in the world as far as uh, tech startups? Um, I mean, we have a lot of good uh, developers and yeah, we have a lot, a lot of, a lot uh, going on. yeah, I mean, you know, like we have a lot of smart uh, tech founders and all the ideas, but, um, we have not actually good, um, ecosystem for investing. So okay. the checks here are pretty low. The startups do not, do not believe in the, you know, in the, in the VC funds here. So I guess the, the biggest, um, the biggest investor here, investors here are corporate players more because uh, we have a lot of corporate companies who are buying startups and who invest in startups. So I guess uh, we have a couple of angels who invest in too, but it's too low prices. You know, the, the checks are damn low. Uh, so that's why we actually doing and we're trying to push the um, all the founders outside because when you're starting outside, like anywhere, literally not even in even I don't know anywhere. <laughs> so uh, it more uh, more attractive you become to the to the local investors because all the investors we have here they all interested in the you know in in the in the global market. Uh -huh. in the US, in Canada, in like Europe, in Asia, anywhere. So you're Not saying, you're suggesting to founders, if you can, like say, go to Santiago, Chile, start up yeah. there, and then, and then go back. And then go back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right. You need like when you when you just starting, go somewhere. Just launch your startup, launch your product, like gain your traction, get some uh, I don't know uh, paychecks, uh -huh. and go back. Show what you got on the on the on the global market. Okay. And you'll be more interested for the for the investors here in in, in Russia because all investors I know that you here in Russia they all invest in U.S. market like anywhere, but. And checks kind of uh, prices for, 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 you know, on early stages and, and uh, around a, uh, the way bigger than for the locals. Sure. Um, that's, uh, that's very interesting. And it's, that, that's interesting to learn. Uh, when we spoke to the chapter director in Santiago, he was talking about um, the programs to, available down there uh, to land, like you basically fly mm -hmm. down there, you land, you, you can get accepted to like an incubator. They'll give you some cash. You get a visa within two weeks Gosh. and like you're Sounds off to the races. 
right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> you and then you he, need to you need to, to send me all the details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, is it Luca down there? Yeah, he would he'd be the one to talk to. But uh, um, and so I, something you said earlier, I'm interested to learn a little bit more about. You said that there's a lot of really good good talent in the area. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in your ecosystem, now does this talent are they are they self taught? Are there programs that teach them? Is it is the, is there not a mismatch in university? A lot of a lot of areas have. Like you can go to university, you can graduate, but you still don't have the right skills. <laughs> so, well, it depends. It depends what you want to learn because when 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 you learn like mathematic or physic or some like chemistry, anything uh, you know um, with the hard skills, not like management, you know, economic and all the stuff, mm -hmm. which are pretty uh, pretty boring here. And you can even you you can even get the uh, experience like by working with yourself. So uh, the the mathematics here and and like all the stuff with the technical skills are pretty good. So the university here with the, with the all everything uh, engineering related, related uh, give a pretty huge pack of knowledge. So um, we have a pretty, um, pretty, pretty um, good talents with the, with the, you know, pretty good engineers here. And so then... that's why if uh, if if the general practice is to if you're a founder then you're you're leaving the ecosystem first to to go validate and create your idea and scale a little bit but if you're just talent you are you outsourcing your talent to firms yeah. outside of the country is that is that real popular or is there enough work inside of the ecosystem to well, sustain the talent that exists there you know the the biggest problem you need to speak english if you want to outsource Mm -hmm. So uh, it's pretty a lot of uh, things to do here, but anyway, I know that the, my friend like yesterday told me that um, all the developers, all, all those developers who come to, for example, UK, uh, they looking for you know for outsourcing job or freelancing for I guess 25, uh, 25 euros. Uh, and the company, which called Accenture, I guess, mm -hmm. they are uh, selling the same uh, engineer for 2,500 per hour. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the difference. So when you're kind of good with, with, with things you do, uh, you can convince your, like, uh, your employer that you're good in it, you can get like uh, price bigger price bigger than you have here but if you're just uh, can do like basic basic stuff and you um, you kind of in the middle of, of your experience so you have nothing nothing to do there you have like a lot of company here sure go to to go to ukraine go to yeah. uh, belarus they, mm -hmm. they have a lot of jobs to offer too and it's kind of close to, to yeah. So if I, so if I graduate, so I'm a student, I graduate uh, university, I'm in Moscow, I'm in your ecosystem. I have a pretty decent idea. I have a co-founder. Um, I, I want to develop my, my MVP. Um, <clears throat> are there, are there uh, incubators or accelerators? Is that a popular way to do it? Or am I just kind of doing it on my own, doing my very best? And for me, it's not an option to leave the country. Like, how do I, how is the best way to uh, validate my, my product and scale at home, like within your ecosystem? Are there, are there government resources, like um, grant programs or education programs to plug in? Well, is Startup yeah, Grind, the place I go? Well, yeah, Startup Grind, for example. Uh, I always say that we have a YC with a startup school. So you can go there and, you know, the, 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 when the bigger, the bigger your community is, the better, the better and faster you will get all the things you need to know. So uh, you can connect anywhere you want. We have a lot of a community here, local ones. We have a Telegram channel, so kind of big with a huge with 10K users on each. So, but when somebody asking me what, where to get the knowledge, I always say, okay, YC is the best free place to get it. It's free, right? We, have, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. we actually, we, uh, I don't know if Kate mentioned, but we have, we, we launch our uh, traction program uh, in, 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 in Russia. And we actually did it because 
uh, we uh, was uh, we end end up the uh, YC school, and we saw what they missed and what can be improved. Mm -hmm. So we launched our not incubator. We do not call it like incubator or accelerator. We call it only like program. So it's like okay. community based program. Community did it. Community can change it. Community sure. can impact on it. So uh, we did it. Um, this four weeks program, uh, totally equity free, totally, you need, don't need to pay for it. It's like uh, kind of things to give first, but we have a lot of pretty, a lot of uh, accelerators and incubators here who are giving the opportunity to grow or who can uh, present you to their corporate player, like uh, anyone. So there are a lot of them, but the question is about um, quality. Sure. So the question is always about quality. So what do you want to get? Do you want to, uh, do you want to spend your time and just uh, to pitch at the end and to talk with the uh, people you want to present yourself to the uh, global audience? Do you, do you want to try and you want to uh, get better with your pitch? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Or we want maybe a referral from, from the people outside your country. So it's always question, question what you want to do first. If the idea to uh, make your MVP, so please do a design in the Canva, uh, then go to the, any uh, software programs, maybe even, even Keynote. My wow. first, uh, first UX design was in the Keynote. So like <laughs> even, even uh, all the presentation, all the things so like I've been designing was a keynote and then I've been presenting my ideas uh, to, to the investors. So it can work well too. So the one thing you need, to, you need to understand that when you want to start something, uh, as I recommend, just build your landing page with one button <laughs> pay one dollar and when the project will be launched you will you will be you know you will know it like first uh -huh. done so when you're doing this we when you're showing how it works you can test your idea by money so yeah, it works works perfectly i know a lot of companies who just started with idea and design if they be selling your their product when they have nothing in the, in the, on the, the back, their right. uh, back end. Yeah. So, so you only need to know, you need to kind of, you know, to uh, work on ideas, how to uh, validate uh, uh, by, uh, by money, your idea. Right. If people will buy, you know, buy, buy the message, buy the purpose, yeah. regardless of whether you're going to fulfill on the I don't promise. Know if, <laughs> I don't know if you know, if you know or not, we have a ultimate guitar here. Uh, the huge project ultimateguitar.com. Uh, uh, so they uh, they are living in the uh, in the uh, like region in Russia, uh, and the uh, the um, chief uh, chief product officer told me that once they had the uh, landing page with a button buy, without any any design there. Like mm -hmm. it was like one like liner. It was like if you wanna know right. how to play guitar and how to gain uh, you know the, the experience how to play guitar in one week bye so without any interface without any ux or ui without any clicks and stuff so we just tried with the money and it was kind of surprisingly but they gained more money than they even had before with a you know fancy website sure so this is how it works you just need to test more that you can but if you have nothing, if you have no idea what to do, go right. wherever you want. I like that idea. Like value proposition, buy. That's it. That's all we need. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> That's great. You always need to, to test by buying, you know, by customers. Your investor will ask about customers. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, uh, we, all, we like to uh, inform the people who watch these uh, recordings about the, the particular sectors that uh, your ecosystem is big in are there are there are there sectors that um that maybe stereotypically we would not think about uh that are that investors if they're interested in say like fintech or like medical like that they would that they should be looking at your your region for um i mean all the sectors are pretty interested because we do not have too many projects there uh, we have uh, 
Uh, we have pretty big se sector with uh, education. So uh, even maybe you heard the project called um, Lingua Leo and, and uh, Study Free. So they were selected by um, 500 startups and even tech stars and Sky Deck is somewhere else. They are right now in San Francisco. We have like uh, Panda Dog and Nikita, Nikita Mikado from Belarus. It's not kind of the Russian, but anyway, uh -huh. it's near, so I'm mentioning it. <laughs> um, so we have many chats, the, uh, ch the, the bot things uh, in, uh, uh, in, in San Francisco now. We have like, like um, what else? We have a lot of, a lot of projects there. So, I mean, um, the most interesting for me, for example, is HR tech. We have not actually many projects in HR tech, and so it's always bot related, but not as huge as it can be. Uh, pretty interested uh, is uh, we're pretty interested in artificial intelligence because even even on governmental level, all people interested in artificial intelligence and you know and uh, uh, predictions from prediction size uh, in in artificial intelligence, uh, computer vision surely truly it's like almost nothing in computer vision in, in Russia. We have a couple projects which were uh, made by government or, or uh, big corporations. Uh, we have pretty low um, amount of project uh, uh, like in music tech because music tech is my love and uh, I'm kind of, it, it makes me you know sad when, when I'm hearing that not too many uh, not many music tech projects here. Uh, we we actually have uh, um, Spotify. Like they come to Russia like a couple months ago. So before Spotify it was like, it was only like iTunes and Yandex, the, which are the, the kind of Google in Russia. Mm -hmm. So and that's all. Then we do not have too many of them. Um, what else? Um, space tech is pretty interesting. Because, you know, after Elon Musk stuff, mm -hmm. Russia is like, whoa, we need to build a <laughs> really, we need to build more into the space tech project or maybe to, to partner with someone. Um, actually, all, all, almost every project. Not, I, I recommend do not uh, go with a med tech project because it's all, all on the governmental level. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to governmental level, it's kind of complicated to... Um, to work with it because uh, you need to have, you know, this uh, local relations from the uh, early years. So you need to be, right. uh, you need to be raised here. So they kind of, right. uh, they kind of um, not friendly with the, uh, with the people who are going in the industry with who, with who they with which they are, uh, you know, work too, uh, too long. And, um, I don't know which which else, um, but a lot, a lot. We have a lot of we have a big a big market. We have a lot of interest. Uh, but artificial intelligence, data scientists, and computer vision now is robot, robot tech and mm -hmm. uh, robotics things. Mm, they all interesting in. Well, that's very helpful. Uh, so you you were talking a little bit uh, earlier uh, on something related to like mindset. Um, and uh, maybe it was before we hit record, but uh, you'd, you'd said how your parents were like, okay, this is the, you need to study this because this is a path to success, <laughs> right? Back, yeah. back uh, like a, even like a generation and a half ago, it was like, okay, well, this is a different path to success. Like you, you, know, you have to know these people and you have to act this way and then that is success. And we want this for you because mm -hmm. we want you to have a better life than us. Um, yeah. If you, so if, if you go, if you're, in university and you have an idea and um, before you even launch, if you, if you need a little bit of support, um, is it, is it, is it friends and family you go to for your, like your early, like early, nah. early seed stuff or is you just, nah. boots, you just bootstrap all by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not working with the family. When you, when you come to the family and say like, okay, I'm going to do something like this. And all the things you hear is like, well, good luck. <laughs> like, <Good luck. laughs> it's always like uh, okay what 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 is this oh okay it's kind of it's it's your toys right so go and go go to the kindergarten and have fun <laughs> so they all they all behave like oh this is kind of joke okay, okay we'll, we'll see how it will go 
So, uh, but it depends. I mean, my family is like this. And then I started doing the uh, entrepreneurships and uh, I started doing music and my mom was like, well, what, what the hell is that? It's not what I wanted. Like, you know, it's, not, like, <laughs> yeah. it's not actually what you need to want. It, like, <laughs> right. It's what, what I want. <laughs> and she's like, no, it's no, no, no. It, it's a waste of time. Definitely. You need to go in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's why I ended up with the banking stuff and the financial stuff. So, but, but now I kind of uh, better for, for, the, for the people who uh, have the idea because we have some university who have the kind of departments with a like innovation departments you can go there and they have incubators inside the sure. university i guess the 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 moscow state university have it uh um university of economic uh, like high i don't know higher schools higher school of economic here in, in russia they have the same they have the big incubator is kind of successful here they i guess have a kind of prize from the uh, global incubator like uh, content contest or something uh, but they all the university right now want to you know want to build or want to um, launch their own incubators or something which which will help them to raise better better talents and uh, better projects and sites because when you do it inside university you have you can have and you can leave your equity to mm -hmm. the university so yeah. when the project it's like stanford do so as, yeah. as as much as i know when stanford even you stanford university a student and you uh, uh doing the startups and the startups become successful stanford like uh keep some equity inside mm -hmm. like in in, in 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 house yeah so um now earlier you were speaking also about how like the the large corporations they're the ones that are in the market to buy all this tech Right. Yes. Um, so are there, when you have your, when you have your meetings, when you have your community, are there, are there like hunters like in the, in the crowd for like these corporations and they're looking yeah. for the right opportunities and they're like, okay, we're going to keep our eye on this person, keep our eye on yeah. that company. This is um, how it happens. Okay. And then yeah, so, like so acquisition is the, is the best or fastest exit that people are looking for or um sometimes yeah i mean sometimes it it actually depends on uh how far you will want to go with the project because mm -hmm. as much as i know some founders actually looking for corporate players because the the idea beyond the product is to sell to corporate player sure so it's like <laughs> yeah. when when it's like uh it's not when it's not like the huge product but when it's like can work as an additional service inside the huge sure. company. It works perfectly for corporations. So they can grab it and they can integrate it inside. So, uh, and then the, the founder the also kind of gets the job too. So it's like indeed. an aqua hire, right? Indeed. indeed. Okay. Yeah, we had, we had a couple of project projects here who actually did this kind of stuff. And, uh, the, the founder has been working there for two years and then he, uh, he done with it and he opened another project okay. another project in hr and right now he's doing the in other startups so well when you serial entrepreneur it can work perfectly for you so like you end with it with one product and you switch to another product and then you mm -hmm. launch second third product so but you need to have this you know and you have the skills to manage uh your and product uh, lifetime well, it sounds like there's a, a bit of a formula there that some people yeah. can follow and then just repeat, <laughs> just repeat that. Um, yeah. I think, uh, I think maybe some of the, the biggest value that you mentioned is uh, on, on the validation of your idea and you don't like, don't, 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 don't be too complicated with it or don't too spend so much time building something that if you don't even know it's going to work. Um, <laughs> I think you it know, was uh, everyone wants to be kind of Steve Jobs, who is like you know <laughs> kind of uh, idealist to the details. You always want to be like, okay, is this dot should be here, or we can we need to like you know to, to switch <laughs> okay. it to the comma what, or something? What color should it be? Is, is yeah, this the right the, blue or is that the right blue? How many? <laughs> I want to see 10 blues tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of complicated because I'm kind of this person. I'm kind okay. of, the, you know, it's a bit similar to this person, but, but anyway, I'm trying to, you know, to, to uh, stop myself when I'm, when I'm going too deep in the, in the details, like, no, 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 Here you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop yourself. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, we have, we're kind of uh, up against uh, uh, some time here, but I want to hear a little bit about a little bit more about the, the challenges for, um, like entry into the market. You know, you mentioned like funding can be a challenge. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that there's an opportunity like going through university or an opportunity going the corporate way. But um, are there any other challenges that, uh, that say someone from like outside the ecosystem might say, okay, I can help with that challenge. Does that make sense? Yes, for sure. Actually, we doing, we doing this. I mean, when, when we work in this community, as someone like comes to us and asking like, okay, we're from another country, want to test market, what you can offer, what you can, with what you can help, with what you can help. I was saying like, okay, like ask, and I will give anything will can can work for you, and maybe I can recommend someone, or maybe find someone or a company who I can recommend you as a partner or or uh, like startups. So community here works pretty good because we have a pretty big community in U.S. We have pretty pretty good community in in uh, Europe. We can pretty big community in, in Asia. Like you know, Russian is Russians is everywhere. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we always uh, we are ready to help. <laughs> we always ready to help. So um, actually, when you come to the market from the different. Um, from the different ecosystem, it's always interesting, even for uh, for local players to collaborate. This is because it's kind of experience and it build your network. And moreover, you can have some trouble problems, but anyway, when you come to prof through problems, you uh, you're working on it, so you kind of gain experience. So. Um, it's always good. So uh, community is always uh, helping. And mm -hmm. uh, when somebody is, uh, you know, thinking on coming or not coming to the local Russian market, I always recommend to come because uh, it's not actually uh, really, uh, it's not scary. Right. It's, okay. it's not scary. And we have a lot of opportunity for them. Uh, even more than for, for, for local ones. <laughs> so on, on that, on that topic, and maybe this can be my second to last question here. So, um, you mentioned like, it's not scary, please come like there's yeah. community and everyone wants to help you. Um, that's a, that's a stereotype that, you know, that, that, that I'm happy that we addressed now. Uh, where was I going with that? Um, oops, maybe I lost it. I don't know, having a senior moment. Um, well, maybe I'll remember. But anyway, so then the last question I usually ask <laughs> is, uh, okay. uh, is uh, what can the, uh, the, the larger global startup grind community do for you? So when other chapter directors are watching this and learning about Alex and Moscow, and they've already heard about the opportunities and challenges, what, what do you specifically have to ask if you have anything of your fellow directors? Um to keep following me on Twitter <laughs> and LinkedIn and <laughs> being active. Uh, actually, we, right now we, we are not like, uh, we're not, um, uh, we're not commercial community. So we're not related to any corporate player or government or anybody. That's why we can do anything we want and work with anyone we, we want to. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now we are uh, trying to build a micro fund uh so we have a like pretty big community we have a kind of community with investors but we do not actually have an experience in the fundings and, and the building a fund so um i know that some of people in the community knows uh the guy who hosting 20 minutes vc mm -hmm. harry stebbings i guess his name so and I know he had been uh, doing the uh, podcast Twenty Minutes VC for about a couple years, and then he launched his own like uh, micro fund on for early stage startups. So in order to help a local ecosystem and the system, the old system which comes to Russia from another country on the, uh, as early stage startups, uh, I'd like to refer, like recommendation or maybe referrals to to to, to Harry Steddings <laughs> first, <laughs> you know, to get to get better and get get know better uh, how he did uh, this uh, microphone, how he how uh, he um, how he launched it, and second one just to follow Startup Grind and Startup Russia and me personally and on Twitter and kind of be more uh 
be more uh, talkative. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's, and that's pretty consistent with what a lot of people say is like, we're, we're really more, we want to be, we would love to have more conversation with people like from, yeah. from around the globe. Uh, when, when we spoke with Kate, she mentioned the program that you uh, were developing as far as the, it's not the accelerator. It's just the, the program, Indeed. right? Yes. Yeah. This is and, what I've been talking about. Yep. And, uh, and she said, she said, Hey, uh, we'd love to have some international mentors for our startups. And yes. I know George and I said, yes, we'd be happy to help. So we uh, want to reiterate that uh, on your next cohort, if you need like uh, yeah, any advisors, uh, just email, email George and I, and we'll, we'll be happy to help. Um, sure. In that probably, capacity. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We want to, we want to have all the uh, global uh, juries or like VC funds, like, uh, and the mentors, because uh, last time it was kind of pilot. We launched the pro this program it, Actually, why I'm at, why I'm why, why I'm like calling the program because we do not we don't take equity. Mm -hmm. It's like totally free for for startups. And the second one, um, it's based on YC program, but it's more mm -hmm. intensive uh, in, intensive. And uh, at the end, we have like global funds and and VC who can recommend someone who can help with something, and sometimes they can even commit for money. And the idea beyond the product program is that you, at, at the beginning, you commit to track, I mean, you commit on traction to gain something. So at the end of the program, you do not pitch your project. You pitch the commitment you made at the beginning. And mm. this is the difference. And this is what I like because all investors, all the, like, all the people who give you money want to see the traction. Right. And the program gives you attraction. Uh, it's even more, it actually works better than anything because you don't need to pitch like your, everything. Like you can right. pitch, like we have zero customers, now we have three customers and this is traction <laughs> yeah. for an early stage <laughs> right. investor. Done. <laughs> Done. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we, I'm, I'm pretty, we, we actually launched the, the today we launched the uh, mentorship uh, uh, form. So Anybody who want to join the program as a mentor who can go to startuprussia.co and fill the form. But for Startup Grind, I'm always open to have uh, mentors and judges without the form. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, if you, um, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do my best to remind you, or if you can remember, um, email me the, uh, or Slack me in the Startup Grind Slack, yes. the, the link, and I'll put that in the, the event description uh, when I publish the video. So I will do it for sure today. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, with that, I just uh, want to thank you so much for the generosity of your time, letting us uh, know like what's going on in the ecosystem there, and especially grateful to hear uh, about your personal background and um, and learn that uh, your community has such a a, a strong, um, talented, and experienced person, um, you know, to to help help them out and help grow. So, thank you very much. Thank you. And um, again, thanks for having me. It was a pleasure to talk with you and to share the experience. I hope it will help uh, people who are going to join the Russian markets and the technological breaking through, <laughs> uh, breaking through startups here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always better together, right? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> right. The better we get, the, 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 the bigger we, we become. <laughs>